the big boy clutch right there. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video. In today's video, we're just going to be doing some solo squads in the brand new zombie mode. I've been playing this game mode non-stop since it is an event game mode. This is going to be a live commentary. Usually you'll see this in live streams, but I decided might as well make a video out of it. Might as well try to make a video out of it. We'll see if anything happens. I've been doing a lot of solo squads, but usually not even talking because it gets really intense. So I thought we'll try to talk throughout this, uh, this gameplay. See if we can get some good gameplay. But I absolutely love this Zombies game mode. I've been having so much fun playing the Zombies game mode. Oh, we took some damage right there. Which isn't that good. But I've been having a lot of fun with this uh, this game mode. There's someone landing. Let's try to get a gun before this guy lands. If we can find a gun. Shotgun's fine. That's fine. Better than nothing. Sounds like the rest of his team is here. Oh, that jump shot, though. I see his teammate. This guy gave me a 416. Alright, so yeah, usually during these game modes, I usually focus, well, I'm not, I guess not game mode, but when I'm doing solo versus squads, I focus, I tend to focus a lot more. Ooh, with combat knife, that's perfect. And we'll just get a double 416 set up here. Alright, I think there's one more squad member left of that squad. But let's loot up a little bit. I thought the I thought the zombie was a uh someone part of that squad. Alright, we got a two times and a red dot. We'll put this here. Both have extended mags. We might have to go double four sixteen if we can't find anything else. Shotguns are also really good against the zombies. Oh. Okay, good. But uh yeah. I actually just got done playing with Zute from Confound. He was also uh, once on Gangstars during the Star Challenge, and I actually interviewed him. But, yeah, I actually talked to him, because me and Wynn have been commentating the uh, Omelette 40k stuff. We do both of our leagues, Wynn Sanity's League and my league. And he told me a lot about how to improve my commentary for the viewers, because I'm still so, so new to the uh, professional community that I'm not familiar with all the players and stuff or all the team names. And that actually makes some people upset, which, you know, that low-key upsets me. But at the same time, like, I need to improve myself in that in that sense. And, you know, it, it only takes time. And it's something I'm very new to the pro community. Like, the first taste of an actual pro community that I've ever gotten was during the, uh, the Star Challenge. And now I get another opportunity to, I guess, understand pros and the teams and the names and the backstories uh in this league it would of course be very very easy to understand them if there was only 20 teams but between win and my like win sanities in my league there are 40 teams and in total there's like a thousand players in the entire thing of uh this tournament so like eventually it'll like hopefully sink down and hopefully when the professional side of the actual PUBG Mobile, like the PUBG Mobile Professional, I think the Pro Tour, I think Power Bang like had a trailer that he announced it. When that actually happens, it'll be a little bit easier to probably understand the teams and stuff. Because there'll be less teams, I'm hoping. At least for me. It's hard for me to remember all the names and everybody. It's really hard for me to kind of remember that kind of stuff. Because there's a lot going on. Oh, there's like a, a little bit of a lag there. Oh, 
The big boy clutch right there. Give me your ammo. We're just going double 416, why not? AKs do a lot of damage to zombies, but we're kind of solo squatting. We're focusing on the solo squatting aspect of this right now. Ooh, I heard some shots from a distance. I'm guessing this guy's teammate is really far away. And it's getting nighttime. Alright, because it's getting nighttime, we're gonna boost up and get ready for this uh, next, the zombies. And we're also gonna just be trying to fight people. But, anyways, thank you, Zute. Shout out to Zute for, uh, for talking to me about that. It, it definitely. It helps me out a lot because I want to I want to understand what I'm doing wrong and what I could do better as a commentator, as a content creator. I, I mean, as anything, I just want to improve myself in general. So it's really nice to just hear that. I know Zute wasn't talking on his behalf. Like he said he enjoyed our commentaries, but he was talking on a lot of people's behalfs. It was just nice. It was just really nice to hear that. Even though like to some viewers, you know, they might not really care about like all the team names and all the backstories. And for me, it'll be easier to learn all the team names and it'd be easier for me to learn the team names and the It's a different team. Yeah, 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 you guys can attack me. But it'd be easier for me to learn all the team names and team like players rather than the actual backstory of the teams. That's going to be harder for me to learn. But I will try. I will try. Because I definitely love doing commentary and stuff. And, and it, I have a lot of fun with it. Looks like this squad's pretty spread out. I think we're going to get this guy on the high ground first. Man, we, got, we, are, we already got seven kills by herself, which is pretty good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these lifestyle commentary videos. I like doing them. I haven't done them in a while where I'm just live commentary talking. Where is this guy? He had a mini 14. And then there's a the guy down here. We're kind of just letting the zombies chase us. Alright, so there's a team down here. Kind of separated fighting zombies. It's like the perfect time to third party them while they're fighting zombies. Oh yeah, you see his, you see his gun flashes in the distance? Kind of don't want to expose myself too much. Just gonna get close to these guys and then fight them. Maybe chuck a nade over towards them or something. That was a mistake on my end. This guy's really close to me. His footsteps right next to me. I knocked two of these guys. Yeah, there's a guy over here somewhere. The night's a minute left. I should be fine in terms of health. But yeah, usually during live commentaries, I kind of just ramble on. I end up just rambling. And that's a good and bad thing. I, I like being able to ramble and talk. This guy with the shotgun's really close. I think they're focusing on zombies, not even...
They're focused on the zombies and not me, which is good for me. That guy was shooting shotguns at the zombies. That was a squad wipe right there. His M4 only is not, it's not, uh, it's not too bad right now. Especially because we're, when you have less players in the zombie mode, it seems like less, less zombies will spawn in. Alrighty, we're up to 12 kills, solo squadron, not bad. New zone. Our car is just like beyond the corner over there. We're going to loot these bodies and then we'll push out. But yeah, for me, I'm the type of person that likes hearing people's feedback. And when it's actually good feedback, it doesn't like hurt my feelings or anything. So criticism, that's what I'm kind of talking about. The criticism isn't completely bad or anything, so. But yeah, and then like I said before, a lot of these uh, live commentaries, they end up just being, I have 720, 556. But these live commentaries just end up being like me just rambling and talking. So I don't know how many people enjoy that kind of stuff, but I used to do it a lot during like my older mobile videos or just older videos in general. I would be playing an event, like a, a, like a puzzle game, and I would just be talking about random stuff. And that might be good because like, it might be good of me to be able to talk a lot, you know? But yeah, let's boost up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost up here and then we're just gonna drive around and try to fight some people. But yeah, I'm kind of grinding the PUBG Mobile videos. If you guys didn't know, and let me know if you've watched all the way up to this part. Be like, yo, Metal, I watched up to the part where you told me about the dates when you stream. Or not stream. But I've been trying to stream almost every day, but I can't. Because, like, recently there was some construction on the house, and just it was just a struggle. But my s upload schedule, even though this video will probably come out s like Monday or Sunday, my upload schedule usually... is uh, Monday, Tuesday. I actually might upload it tonight. Monday, Tuesday. Oh crap, dude, I'm surrounded. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. That's my upload schedule. That's the one that I'm trying to get. keep. I messed up there for a second. Up to 15 kills. By myself. My kill record was like 17, I think. So this is pretty good. Who are they chasing? Oh, okay. The boss is actually close by. Ooh, there's a team on the boss. I think so. up anything a uh, m24 i pick up the m24 if it was the the last night but it's not this is barely in the zone we could just chill but we want to try to go after the kill record at least my current kill record all right my kill record i think is 17 i was going to upload that video but i haven't all right boosting is always good all right, we'll probably go towards Yasnaya, because that's where people are. We'll let people shoot at the car or something. You can't run over this bad boy. He's too thick. That's the, all the that's where you get all the good loot. I marked that so I can remember. We'll swap cars. Oh my gosh, there's people who keep on shooting cars' tires. That's actually really dangerous, because 
without any cars, it's going to be very hard for you to move around the map. And this could allow for them to get an easy victory. Alright, we're going to Yes, Naya. Here we go. I think they're inside this place. I might pass by it. Oh yeah, they're definitely there's multiple there's probably a team there. They probably think it's more than one guy. Squad wipe! Alright, now we just gotta survive these hordes of zombies because we just got 18 freaking kills. Alright, they definitely demolished the car. Alright, RIP that. Okay, I'm like pumped right now. 18 kills by ourselves. This is insane. Alright, we're kind of boosted up. We'll take uh, as much ammo as we can. I think the zombies get stronger and stronger as the night goes on. And... The liquor spawn during this time as well. I do have boost. That should be able to help me. I want to get that liquor out of here. Oh god, that guy. This guy will mess me up. Let's take him out as fast as we can. I think I have a chance to heal real quick here. Let's heal. Let's also take some painkillers. You have like a short, after killing like the, a good wave of zombies, you have a short amount of time to like heal. There's still a minute left. You can see there's still a minute left in this night. All right. So, we literally killed three guys in the squad, which I'm really surprised that we have 18 kills. Like, this is, like, super hype for me. I'm very excited about that. So, let's, uh, we got some guy in the corner here. I, I guess he crawled down. You can see that they were just camping here. They wanted to survive. They wanted to survive. They probably did not expect to die like that easily. Oh, wow, he had a lot of 76, too. I might loot these guys for, like, a sniper or something. There we go, M24. You guys might have had an AWM. So I might try to loot them for the AWM. 84 zombie kills so far, that's pretty good. Suppress it for the sniper. I saw an M24 right here. Save the M24. And we will use the M416 as our close range gun. Now it's end game, so we can kind of snipe and stuff. I think we had an A times. Let's put that A times. We'll keep the four times just in case. Put the compensator, extended quick draw. Perfect. And we're pretty set with our stuff. Suppressor for the sniper. All we would like is maybe extended for the sniper. Oh, there we go. Extended quick draw. Okay. We're pretty set right now. In terms of the loot, in terms of everything that we need. Now we'll just slowly push. Oh, actually, look at that. 
I marked where the last boss was and a team took it out. So that means there's going to be a team to the left of me. Which that could be the last squad alive. I'm going to swap these. The M24 is the only gun that I... There's like a few guns, but the M24 is one of the guns that I don't have a, uh, a skin for. Alrighty. If we could find a car that hasn't gotten its dang tires blown out then we might be able to just drive. Cause I think, uh, I think that's not a spawn. Yeah, that's just like a broken down car. But yeah, I want to hit Yasnaya up. If we can get Yasnaya and get that three story building that I really like staying at. Oh, there's a car right there. So the boss is going to be right here. We're going to double check to see if anybody tries to kill that boss. And we're going to try to get to this three story building, I think right there that I just marked and try to win this. I think that was good that I decided to record and talk to you guys because we have 18 freaking kills. See, I might not be good as the pros, and I might not be the best commentating the pros, but I feel like I'm good at entertaining you guys with some cool videos. What we can do is watch the boss from a distance at this compound right here and then go to Yasnaya late. Oh, actually, I think I just got shot at. Yeah, I see the guy. He has an M24. Well, we're still in the safe zone, so that's probably the squad that fought the uh, boss. All right, we're going to boost up with the adrenaline shot we have. And, okay, this is actually kind of good. So, I guess no one decided to fight this guy. Oh, here we go. That was probably the sniper. That car's about to explode, dude. He just got out. Oh god. I wonder how good he is at sniping. Hit him once. I think that guy was distracting me. Because I saw shots to the left of me. I'm just going to constantly boost up. But I saw shots to the left of me. I wonder if I could steal the kill. Alright, anyways, let's just push the zone. He killed the tyrant, actually. I might try to tax him when he's getting that AWM. Oh, it looks like he... Yikes. Now the other guy's gonna have an AWM. He hit me on my helmet while I was jumping? Wow. The only way I think I can actually survive this is if we try to make it to this compound before they do. Oh wow. I only have now to go in the compound. This will be rough for me. And I'm not the best with snipers. I have 45 seconds. Alright, you know what? Oh, I see someone laying down right there. 
frick. Dang it, dude! That guy was by himself, and I think that might have been the last squad. No, there was a lot. Actually, all those guys were soloing. <sighs> and I got that headshot at the last second, which I think makes that... I think my highest kill was 17, so we got up to 19. We could have gotten 21. So all those guys were soloing by themselves. Like, they were all soloed, unless the last two were... No, because I killed one. That guy killed me, and I got third place. So that means there's two guys left. The guy who fought the... Oh, man, dude. Well, that's definitely going to be a video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And um, I think this one's coming out tonight. I think I'm just going to try to release it ASAP. So if you guys want to watch my live streams, uh, I am only streaming on Twitch right now and Omelette Arcade, sometimes Facebook, because YouTube's being a heck and not letting me live stream again, sadly. But it is the truth. Kill 15 more in one match. All right, anyways, good game, good game. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.